I'm joined by Cliff Watson from accounting firm BDO South Africa. Cliff, uh, good afternoon. Welcome to today. Just on tax issues, I mean, we didn't get to hear much about what is likely uh, to happen, but I mean, Minister Kudnungwana is saying in his speech, and, and I quote, our most effective way of funding government is through an efficient tax administration and by broadening the tax base. Does this indicate we're going to get some tax increases come February? Hi, uh, good afternoon, Dan, and um, uh, also to all your um, viewers. Um, no, I, I don't think so. Um, the, when also the minister mentioned that uh, there would be moderate tax revenue uh, measures. So that's an indication that uh, there won't be any significant increases. Uh, one thing that I, I was quite um, not surprised by, but uh, I actually... Um, also uh, uh, look forward to it is the efficient measures across government and one of the, the specific ones that i'm looking forward to is uh, the the ones that are um if one look at um you know how sources resources are utilized in order to um uh, increase the revenue um for for SARS and for government and i i would like to see more focused uh, verification audits or uh, operation audits that would increase the, the revenue and not just focus on whether, uh, say, for instance, my sales colleagues, uh, colleagues won't uh, be happy about this, but just to focus on whether an invoice uh, uh, meets the requirements. So I would uh, definitely like to see more focused audits from SARS. Yeah, I see National Treasury, I mean, uh, 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 on the sides or sidelines of this uh, budget uh, speech saying that uh, they are looking, uh, they'll propose tax measures that uh, could raise an additional revenue of 15 billion rand uh, in 2024, 2025, in the 2024 budget. Where could that come from? I mean, VET is not going to be tankered with, I think, because it's an election year next year. <laughs> yeah, no, no, definitely, it's especially from an indirect tax point of view, um, there aren't any earth shattering changes. Um, specifically, you know, the, the, the custom side, that your normal ones like your fuel levy, sun taxes and sugar taxes that are increased by, by inflation. Uh, from a VAT perspective, no significant increases or amendments in the, in the, uh, the VAT Act. So, yeah, I, I would see it more um, in terms of other um, tax amendments. Yeah. Well, what about uh, rebates, especially when you come to diesel? I mean, it's been an issue uh, for some time with, with farmers, for example, wanting to see a little bit more because of the increases we've seen in the past few months this year. We've seen some steep uh, increases in the price of fuel, especially since last February's, last year, February's invasion of Ukraine by Russia. Yeah, Dan, that's, that's actually a negative effect on the, the revenue collection in the sense that uh, the diesel re, uh, refund system has now been uh, extended to food manufacturers as well. Um, so that could mean that uh, um, SARS would um, then have to, uh, or, or, uh, would, would get less revenue in terms of the, the refunds that they now need to allow for um, the, the uh, diesel or qualifying diesel purchases uh, in the food manufacturing sector. Yeah. So just, just broadly, I mean, when you look at it from your perspective in terms of these various taxes and customs and excise duties, uh, how, how, what are your impressions about where is the head uh, of the minister here and National Treasury? Uh, because February is going to be a very important budget because currently we can see the financial state or government or public funds are under strain. Yeah, no, definitely, Dan. Um, and, and like I said, I, I think it would be more um, in terms of the, the efficiencies in, in gaining the, the revenue uh, and more focused uh, revenue collection and then um, broadening the tax base. Um, you know, getting those people that uh, avoided tax all along um, um, on the tax register and uh, for them to pay the additional taxes. Okay, thank you very much. Cliff Watson, he's from BDO, just giving us some of his initial thoughts and reactions to this afternoon's medium-term budget speech. There'll be more reaction, of course, as we continue unpacking what the minister had to say.